Alright, so I'm going to another video as welcome to Matt Tech Talk again. It's Rafael Sibila here. As you know, I wanted to review some of the tech which I recently bought as a test for my channel. And the second camera, which I'm gonna test it out, unbox and review. Obviously, uh, you if you haven't seen my video, I've already reviewed the C920. I showed you the footage of it and compared it to the Logitech Brio 4K. But now I'm gonna go for a camera which is right in between win because it's also 4k footage but it's a much lower price than logitech 4k brio because we're looking at logitech c920 cost around 60 to 80 pounds sometimes they can grab it cheaper while the logitech brio is looking as a hefty 250 pounds it's still i think better if you're looking for streaming or maybe some uh, recording and you don't want to buy like a full uh, DSLR camera or you know use some advanced option I think it's a great solution okay let's dig into unboxing that camera so it came in a like a normal packaging so actually maybe let's just you know what microphone here yeah that's better and this here so you can actually see a bit more I'm working with a very sharp knife I'm a big fan of leather man so I'm trying not to cut myself. Oh. All right, so we have a creative live cam sync 4K. We just need this. So this is what we're looking at. So it's a live cam um, sync 4K uh, webcam with backlight compensation. So I can actually show you that on the main camera as well. So that's how it looks. All right, decent. This camera, it also costs around um, 60 to 100 pounds, which is pricely right in between those uh, kind of two things. All right, so let's open it up. Okay. Okay, what's inside? So with the basics, obviously, why are we comparing that one? Because this one has a, it's a 4K, uh, UHD, it also have a 1080p which is a full HD, but also have a backlight compensation with a dual built-in mic. I think that should be decent. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we can see that um, the cable is definitely kind of, I would say, lower quality than the Brio, which I kind of went through initially because it's thinner, but it's also pretty decent um, camera, so we're not having any anything here that's cool all right so we're looking at the camera itself i kind of the only thing is that kind of feels um it feels a bit um like like delicate i don't know why it's you can see you can see also like how does it look it, it, it feels a bit delicate i don't know why that's kind of the feeling but the cool thing is it has like a cover for the camera so look here pick and we actually can cover the camera so also one of the cool things about the camera itself before i mount it is that it has um buttons here so you can see actually that it has the button for the low light compensation which is right kind of here and the second button is to turn off the microphone here so that's pretty decent we'll also test out the microphone okay so we just now connected to the creative uh, camera and i think that here also the image is pretty decent i can see quality quite okay uh i'm not sure if it's as good as the brio but still pretty decent thing and obviously we're recording in 4k i'm not um doing an output in 4k because obviously uh like i don't want to take it too much space as well but for me always the goal was to go for the kind of a full hd video with like a 4k kind of feeling and this is kind of what we're getting here which i think it's a pretty decent money versus value and yeah it looks pretty actually cool so we're gonna test out now the microphone i'm gonna change from my um normal mad dog microphone to uh, a built-in creative microphone all right so now i'm talking to you through the um creative microphone and from what I see on the space, it has quite a big range on the microphone, which I think it's pretty okay. Like, um, I'm actually recording in the OBS, so I think that's pretty um, decent. I can see it's pretty decent. I can see it's definitely decent, and it's definitely something which, uh, yeah, I think I would look into, look into that. 
What? Let's see those buttons, right? Because we have here buttons, which allows me to do the low res and turn off the microphone. So let's see if I can turn off the microphone. Okay, so turning off the microphone actually works. That's decent. The only case is that those buttons are like inconvenient. Why would you go on the camera, which is mounted on the on the uh, laptop? It's just like, yeah, that that's the only thing which is weird. But let's see that button about the light. Did it actually do anything? Okay, so in OBS it doesn't really work. But it might be that... Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can see I am brighter. Okay, so it is adjusting some settings of the light when I press that button. So now it created like a low light. Wow, because I have a lot of lamps here. It actually, it's actually, br it's really brightening the image. It's like, I'm, I'm very, very bright. Well, I think that's also decent. And I think if you're looking for a camera, which is, uh, you know, having a nice spec. So let's talk about the specs itself. So obviously we're looking at the pretty decent microphone, which I'm kind of talking to you right now. You have a button control, which I'm not a fan of, but yeah, it's all right. It works too. The definitely the cool thing, which is uh, like a, Plus, comparing to the um, to the Brio, is that it's on like a mount, so you can actually rotate it. So I can easily rotate it on my on my screen while and it lost the mounting on the back. That's okay. That that's actually a bit of a minus. So that holds better on the uh, on the Brio, but the actual rotation 360 that's pretty decent. So you can see it has a 95 um, degree uh, viewing angle, so you can actually change it as well. And backlight compensation, yeah, I think it's decent. Someone's looking at some low li low light thing. I have like a huge selfie here, and I have some backlights as well, so that works decent. And that 4K UHD, I think that's a pretty good uh, kind of settings to to go for. All right, this is it from me, Rafael Sibila here from the Math Tech Talk, and see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe if you wanted to see more of those and if you have some specific uh, kind of maybe requests or something which you would like to see Just pop it in the comment